Hi there. Welcome to another update. Again, um, I don't seem to do anything else than updates, which is fine, I believe. Um, got a little mini haul here, about eight or nine records. Then I got a couple of records that I picked up from various other thrift stores, and I have a couple of seven inches. So let's get started. First up is the seven inch that I wanted to show two updates ago, I guess, but didn't manage to do that because the package, which consisted, which had this little seven inch in it, uh, was dropped after I did the video and then the video after that, which was last update, I forgot about it because it was just a single seven inch. So here it is. It's the newest release in the Paradiso Vinyl Club series. This is their 30th release. Um, Paradiso Vinyl Club is uh, a vinyl club, as it says. Um, they're connected to uh, Amsterdam-based uh, music venue called Paradiso. That's why it's called Paradiso Vinyl Club. This is their little logo. And um, they basically support Dutch musicians, Dutch artists, um, by releasing their music on these little seven inches. That's a little custom label. And this is basically the info label. Um, this time around, they decided to release a little seven inch by Personal Trainer. It's the songs Total Wotel and You Better Start Scrubbing. Um, Total Wotel, or no, Personal Trainer, uh, are a little one-off band, I think. Could be, I don't know. But they, they consist of um, members from different other Dutch indie groups, including Awkward Eye and uh, Pip Blom. And Pip Blom are causing a little, little, little teeny weeny wave in the UK indie scene. They have released their album there uh, on a on a British label called Heavenly. So if you're in the UK and you know a lot about independent music and underground music there, and you might have heard of Pip Blom. If not, I'm just saying this information just randomly. Anyway, uh, musically, uh, I think it sounds a little bit like Pavement. So if you like Pavement, you might like Personal Trainer. If you don't like Pavement, I don't know why I'm showing you this. But anyway, I really enjoy these uh, seven inch singles from the Paradiso Vinyl Club. The other two, I think I had two. Where's the, ah, there it is. The other two seven inches I picked up when I picked up the eight or nine from the mini haul, uh, which I'm going to show last. But these little seven inches uh, were part of that little haul, and um, they're basically disco but uh, American disco, I think. This is Carol uh, Gianni with Hidden Run Lover. I picked this up because it's on the amazing Ramshorn label. Ramshorn are a Dutch distributing company, record company from the 80s, who uh, well basically bought the rights to a lot of under, uh, smaller labels in the US and around the world uh, that released disco and Euro disco and boogie and funk and basically released it in Holland. Ah, I don't know. There it is. It's from 81. This is her album also on uh, Ram's Horn. But I've never seen that. Neither did I. Neither have I seen this before. But Hidden Run Lover, if you hear it, you know it, and it's it's disco. A little bit of a funk edge to it, but it's pretty much disco. And I like this disco a lot better than European disco, because there's a big difference, in my opinion, with European disco and American disco. Continuing, this is Brooklyn Express with Spank, 69. And the B-side is Change, pos Change Position, 88. Uh, this one you definitely know, and it's it's funkier than the other one. 
This is on Areola, but the uh, sublabel, I don't know if I can show that. I can show this better. Dance Records. Um, similar to what Ramshorn did, Dance Records did as well. You had Injection Records as well. I really like these uh, little labels more and more. Those were my 7-inch records, Disco. Uh, from last week's finds, uh, two thrift stores, just three records, nothing special. But uh, two jazz records, one which I really, really enjoyed. That's this one. This is John Birdley, um, Jazz from the States. It's, uh, I don't know what type of genre it is, uh, post-bop maybe, or bop, I don't know. It's on, you can see Negram. I know Negram, but not Negram. And it's stereo, but it's also playable on a mono set. Uh, this was really enjoyable. I, I dug this. This is a solid, you know, good sounding, fun jazz. Nothing difficult, nothing experimental. It's just these guys playing jazz. Um, enlighten me. Who is John Erdley? Because I can't find any information on him. Um, the other record I found is Brazilian Bird by the Charles uh, sorry, Charlie Bird Trio. This is a reissue from 68 on Riverside. And it's decent. Um, wasn't too overwhelmed by it. But, uh, yeah, originally it came out in 1962. And this is the 1968 reissue. It's Bossa Nova Jazz. It's, it's like I said, it's decent. Picked up another late 80s R&B record. This is Peggy Blue, and apparently I have another record by her, which I didn't know. It's spelled differently. It's Peggy, B-L-U, that's this spelling. And the other one, her last name was really spelled as the color blue. And this is the color blue. Uh, the album is called Blue Blowing. Um, more soulful R&B, I think. There's Peggy. But yeah, this was a, a lot of fun. It's on Capitol. That's the 80s Capitol label. I need to clean it because uh, it's got a little smudge on it. But uh, I really enjoy 80s R&B more and more. Okay, now the record's from The Hall. Mini Hall. Um, Starting off with this one, this is the album, This Is Reggae Music. Um, the Europe, this is the Dutch pressing, and it came out in, I, yeah, it, it's kind of weird. Uh, Discogs mentions this as a 1978 release, but it's 1976. Uh, it's a compilation, two LP set. That's the gatefold with all the album sleeves of the artists included on here. Um, it's reggae. It's called This Is Reggae Music. It's reggae. It got two albums um, with a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of stuff I don't know. A lot of stuff I do know. Um, from the known artists, you have Bob Marley, Burning Spear, Jimmy Cliff, Toots and the Maytals, uh, Max Romeo, Third World, Bunny Whaler, Augustus Pablo, Heptones, Dillinger, Peter Tosh, and that's about it. And the rest, I really don't know. Like Zepp Pau, Junior Mervin, Justin Hines and the Dominoes, uh, George Faith, Rico, Lorna Bennett, The Slickers. I don't know these, but it's solid reggae, and I like it more and more. There's the Blue Island label. And finding it in a thrift store. You gotta pick it up. Up next is this record. This is their uh, debut album by Level 42. Now, 
I like Level 42. Not a big fan of it, but this is a record that has been shown by a lot of people, including uh, Big Star 1000. Uh, and he mentioned that this was a really, really good record. You need to pick it up if you see it. And I did. Was a buck. So you do pick it up. Um, it's on Polydor. It's got a printed inner sleeve. I don't need to show you the red Polydor label, do I? Um, it's a lot more funkier than their later stuff, which is, it's got the funky bass, but it's more pop. Uh, this is the hit Love Games on here. Um, and it's a solid sort of jazz funk pop album. If you do see it, pick it up because it, it's really good. Good recommendation there. Um, more funk. The Isley Brothers, go for your guns. Um, last video, I think I showed a um, Isley Brother rec record, Isley Brothers record. And I'm showing one again. You see them more and more at the time, which is good, really good. It's a gatefold, it's a single album. Also comes with a printed inner sleeve. It's on the orange Epic label. Have not listened to this one yet, but I bet this is really, really good. Uh, I really enjoy the Isleys. So that was a good find. Uh, next one, I had to pick this up. Why? Because it's Shannon, and it's called Let the Music Play. This is their, uh, her, their, her album from 1984, 5, 6, 4, including the classic electro uh, track, Let the Music Play. It also features Give Me Tonight, which is another great electro track. Um, this track, uh, Let the Music Play, has been put on many compilations that are aimed towards breakdancing because it's got that breakdance beat to it. And it's really, really a uh, good track. And I'm really looking forward to hear what's on here besides Give Me Tonight because I know that song as well. But this is Shannon. Um, it's on the, I just mentioned it, the dance label. I cannot show it correctly. There, see, dance records and Ariola. So I told you it was good stuff. Um, up next, um, this is from 87 and it's Jesse Dixon. And uh, the name now rings a bell. It didn't when I picked up his first record. I now have three or four records by him, but this is a, a gospel singer. Uh, the album is called The Winning Side. And he's a soul gospel singer. So this is on a label called Power Discs, which if I'm not mistaken is his label. Uh, haven't listened to this one yet. But this other stuff I really enjoyed. Um, good, solid soul with a gospel message. And this shouldn't be much different. That's Jesse. He's an awesome looking guy. Now, if you see this, this is an album by an artist called Terry Scott, self-titled album. If you see this, what does this scream? Funk, right? Funk, blues, that thing. It's not. When I looked it up on Discogs, it said classic rock, and I was like, what? <laughs> and I had already picked it up. I would have picked it up otherwise. It's... Uh, on every um, Electra um, it's from 82 but it's not what I really thought it would be uh, and it's from what I sampled I need to hear this more closely but it's a little classic rockish soul voice but more of a classic rock sound it, it kind of threw me off I don't know really what to think of it this uh, at the moment but I'll need to delve deeper uh, but yeah, sleeves can throw you for a loop. Um, Terry Scott. Didn't know the guy. This is a name. Um, the artist has, <laughs> next artist is someone I've heard before. I've heard of before, but I never 
heard of his music, to be quite honest. But this is Bobby Caldwell. The album is called Carry On. It's from 82. It's got a printed inner sleeve and the Red Polydor label. And apparently this is soul funk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I've got a little cold. Um, but I don't know what this is precisely because it mentions dates uh, dating back to 1976. So it could be a compilation or just could feature one or two tracks from 1976. Um, but yeah, Bobby Caldwell. It looked interesting. It hopefully sounds interesting. 80s soul funk. Uh, last two records are Dutch um, alternative acts from the 80s. Um, so it could be mean new wave or post-punk. I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, used to be big into that stuff. A little less right now, but when I see stuff like this, I still pick it up. First up, this is La Danza Moderna with main, uh, main theme. It's a mini album. Uh, mini album from 1983. It's got five tracks. It's on a label called Top Hole, who were back in this time uh, one of the many uh, indie uh, labels that release post punk music. Um, but yeah, don't know this music, but it's Dutch and it's probably alternative and it probably sounds okay and I probably like it and who knows. Same goes with this one. This is Blue Murder with La La Love from 85. This is on a big label on WEA. But also this one gets described as new wave, post-punk. Got custom labels. Inner sleeve, printed inner sleeve. But I haven't listened to it yet. So this could go, could go, could go every way. This could go anyway. Uh, but I'm interested in, in Dutch uh, musical history, be it new wave, soul, funk, whatever. I, I like to hear that. So that's my update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was short. Sorry about that. Bye-bye.